everyone, I'm Panchali and you are with Life Online. And today we have a very special guest with us. This is Michelle Herft and she's a renowned actress in both cinema and theatre in Sri Lanka. Hi Michelle. Hi Panchali. How's it going? Good. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you up to these days? Well, I'm a teacher by profession. So right now I'm I'm immersed in my in my in my world of teaching but uh, yeah that's about it so you're teaching a lot these days yes. are you working on any theater or cinema productions well yes i am um, uh, involved with um, with hans bilmore and his um, v day which is going to happen uh, in in gaul in january so yes and there is another production in in feb but uh, yeah well. <laughs> All right then. So you recently won the Best Actress Award at the Derna Films this year. So congratulations. Thank you How so did much. that feel? It felt amazing. I, I really cannot explain how um, how I felt. It was just very overwhelming. I was in a state of shock. I couldn't believe it. It was nice. Right. And you won it for your role in Kesara. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that role. Well, Kesara is um, is 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 a is a family movie because it it has a ghost and I mean it deals with a family that has, uh, in a sense, I play the main character Sarah and she has just lost her father so she's just picking up the pieces after he has, you know, passed on and um, it has a little bit of romance it has a little bit of I mean a lot of humor so it has a it has a wonderful mix of everything. Right. Yeah. So how did you bring out her character? Did you have to channel anything per se? Uh, well, not really because uh, Sarah is very much like myself. I mean, um, I am very similar to her. So I mean, it was just a question of getting my character and sort of merging it with hers. I mean, there were no... Um, Mr. J Parakrama Jaya Singh, the, the, the director, did not specify that she had to be sort of presented in a particular way. So I guess that's why it was very... Uh, realistic right and you've been involved with drama since you were very small right yes. so what would you say is the most complex or interesting character you played during your school years during my school years well um, unfortunately because because of my height I always had to I was given the opportunity to play male roles so I would say in my school years playing Oberon for Midsummer Night's Dream was probably, uh, you know, the best thing that, I mean, right after school, once again, I took part in a, in a school production and I played Gaston. All right. <laughs> in Beauty and the Beast. Yes. But, but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it was nice. It was, it was very different. I mean, how often do you get to play male roles? I mean, only in school. <laughs> exactly. I mean, did it feel weird when you switched from playing male roles into playing a female role in... Yes, um, because I was so like used to you know uh, playing male roles and you know walking in that particular banner and it was very difficult when I remember when I first worked with uh, with Hindu Dharma Sena really and I had to play a female role it was very difficult to channel my feminine side but I <laughs> managed but you managed yes. all right so what is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you while you were performing I would say in year 10, I mean it wasn't, I wasn't uh, acting or anything but in year 10 I had to sing a solo for a Christmas carol and I forgot the words and that was easily the most <laughs> embarrassing thing a on solo. earth. <laughs> yes, yes it was, it was really embarrassing because I just don't want to even think about it but I mean at least from, I mean I never gave up my yeah. love for drama or participating in productions, I just went on. Do you remember the first drama that you took part in when you were in school? I think I think it was part of a ensemble of sorts. I think I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what was your favorite out of all the performances you have done? Out of all the performers, I have been very um, fortunate to work with many directors. Um, Indu Dharma Sena has taught me a lot, and he's really fun to work with. Um, I've worked with Jit Pires, I've worked with, um, with Jihan Aloysius, Jihan Bastians and Nidra Williams. I've worked with all of them. So um, I can't really pinpoint a particular production and say I enjoyed that the most because every single production has taught me something new. I mean, I've done serious theatre, I've, um, I've done 
comedy. I would say that I I prefer comedy, but right. but I mean, I like serious plays as well. So I mean, as long as I have a good balance, it's fine. <laughs> so you're constantly involved in plays, and in saying that. You're married. You have a child. You're I have two a kids. You have two kids. All right, and you're a teacher, and you still manage to do all of this. How exactly do you manage all of that in one go? Well, actually, I'm studying as well. I'm trying to complete okay, my masters. Okay, we'll add that to the teacher. pile. Yeah. So, um, it's it's really. I think by nature, I'm a person who really has to sort of um, um, plan out my day. Right. Um, I mean, even this interview, we. decided it last yes. week and i had to sort of like slot it out and i mean uh i really work on plans i know that's a bit uh, that that's horrible of me but that's i but it works for yes, you it it works but it also goes against me when it doesn't like when it doesn't go according <laughs> to plan and then i get really like you know flustered and but but yeah that's how i how i work around it i i plan I, in the sense every day i have uh, i have some thing or I, i dedicate a certain amount of time for um for my for my sons and you know then for my kids in school and you know pre- preparation studying so it's it's tough but i mean i i mean that way i use every single minute of the minute day minute of the day right yeah. so what's a typical day for you um i wake up in the morning uh get ready go to school um pick up my older son uh come back home start classes then um maybe study read a book i hardly ever watch television okay um yeah and then that's it it's really boring <laughs> it's not at all exciting <laughs> but still very busy <laughs> yeah so i try to jazz it up with going for play practices and things like that but yeah it depends right so um what would you say is the most annoying and utterly misconceived fact about you that people always think about you but it's not true i think it's a lot of people think i'm very very snobbish but all I'm right not. <laughs> okay I'm really not <laughs> it's just that i'm very shy so yeah i mean what i do is i i i sort of uh i mean people sort of think that that is you know me being snobbish but it's not it's it's really me being very very shy and not wanting to talk <laughs> right <laughs> not yeah. you being snobbish yes <laughs> okay so um what's next for you i mean what are your future plans well nothing really i just want to you know do um complete my masters in teaching english as a second language and then right. um i really want to you know pursue my my teaching career and if i do get uh, opportunities to take part in nice films yes i'll maybe if i have the time i'll sort of you know incorporate that as well in my program and yeah i'll just take it one day at a time right and this teaching what yes. age group do you teach in particular well i teach english literature to um, to a level students right and how yes. are they to handle they're very good actually they i mean we have a very good relationship i'm not like a strict teacher where yeah. i you know stand and yell at them we we have my 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 students are all very mature so i'm able to have conversations and you know discuss texts and it it's it's nice it's nice to you know have kids like that right so my job is that much easier yeah <laughs> definitely <laughs> so michelle before we wrap up we have a few questions to ask and you have to give us really quick answers okay okay so three words you would use to describe you hard working paranoid <laughs> <laughs> paranoid and uh, fun loving all right okay, okay. Three things no one knows about you. I really don't know. <laughs> My gosh, I really don't know. I know I, that's that's a very difficult question. Nothing Natalie, in particular. I think I'm pretty like I mean those who know me know me completely. So right. So you're an open book. Yeah. <laughs> so your role model. Well, I like a I I like Virginia Woolf. And All right. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean the literature aspect of you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I mean you can't. Yeah. Okay. Um one song that explains your life right now and if you say Justin Bieber we really wouldn't judge you. <laughs> I actually like <laughs> Justin Bieber and I like his latest song I really don't know what it is but see I'm really not uh, good with songs and I can't remember names but 
Yeah, I mean, I'm really bad at this. Clearly. Okay, I'm... if you have a song that would say be your theme song, what would it be? Um, gosh, I really don't know. I really Nothing. don't know. I can't think of anything right now. Okay, if you have a book that could sum up your life, what would it be? A book that sums up my life. Well, see, that's the thing. I I usually love to read like morbid uh, stories, so I really can't say that my life is like that. <laughs> even even the songs I like to listen to are quite depressing. So it doesn't really sum up my life. I'm quite okay. happy. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. A little paradox there, but yes. all right. The one excuse that people need to stop using. Um, I should have. I could have. I would have. I hate when people say that. Right. Anything that starts with those three phrases. Okay. Favorite way to unwind? Um, we're really going out with my husband. Not the kids. <laughs> I, mean, I love them and all that. They're really sweet. But, but I you mean, I just end up looking after yeah, them. Yeah, I just love to just go out. Uh, maybe have some dinner and come back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Your guilty pleasure? Chocolates. Chocolates. Easily. Mm. Like what gosh. kind of chocolates? Any kind of chocolate. That's the that's the horrible thing. I'm trying to control. <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult. I mean, at my age, I'm trying to reduce my intake on chocolates, but it just it doesn't seem to work. I mean, it doesn't. Nothing seems to work. Yes. <laughs> and finally, your five-year plan. Five-year plan is to discipline myself, become a better teacher, um, study as much as I possibly can. Do as much as I possibly can and be the best mother ever, and of course the best wife as well. I mean, I just want to be a very supportive wife because right. my husband is very supportive to me as well. Yeah. So, in the <laughs> end, would you have one final quote you would like to say, perhaps? Live life to the fullest. Right. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much, you Michelle. So much, it's Pancari. been such a pleasure. And thank you for tuning in with Life Online. We shall see you very soon.